Hey guys, so this is another unboxing. This is number eight. So, oh, I don't know why. Because this is a JB Cases 4x8 case. No big surprise to you guys now, anyway. And it was number eight. This guy had a bunch of them. And uh, I said, yeah, number eight. That, that'll work. So that's what this is. I haven't seen it. I've never really inspected or anything at JB Case's case. One of my friends has one. Um, he liked it for a while. I, I, I think he's less than thrilled with their customer service right now. Or he may just be a grouch. I'm not sure. John, John Barton, if you're watching this, get a hold of me. And, you know, we can see if we could get my friend happy with you guys again. But I don't think he's very happy with you guys. I have wanted a JB Cases case well, for quite a while. Because, mainly because um, John Barton really, he supports everything. Every pay-per-view I watch, JB Cases, I mean, he, he supports that shit. So, just like I did with the J Flyers, just like I did with the Predator, just like I did with the uh, the Jay Hansen Jump Cube. Just like I did with a lot of stuff. Now, if they're supporting the industry, I'm going to support them. So, um, I kind of know John. Back in the early 2000s, uh, we were both really uh, active on the internet, use groups for pool and stuff like that. And I remember from back then. I don't know if he remembers me. I don't think we... I don't think we parted ways as, in, as enemies or anything. Just moved on. Just trying to get this cut open without my fancy ass cutter that I've used for the last two unboxings, last two or three unboxings. It's gone now, so I'm back to a steak knife. And now we're just gonna tear this, we're gonna tear this open. Golly! See? I could cut all the tape before I turn on the camera, but then you guys wouldn't get the, the full unboxing experience, which I guess you're not getting that much anyway because I'm it's down here. It should be up here where you can see it, but this thing's fairly heavy. I'm going to weigh it before I put anything in it, and then I'm going to load it up and kind of just make sure everything fits on that. I'm sure it all does. Um, these are very much sought after. Kitties, there's a box. And in short supply, it, you know, you, I, I would go to the site when I first decided I kind of wanted one, and they're like, you know, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. But you, you, could, you can't freaking buy one. Um, so, a little bit like Southwest in that case. This guy is, is pretty heavy. Again, it's a 4 by 8 it comes in this, in this gray, well, some kind of cloth bag with a drawstring, and I figured out that the the draw or the the external case bags that the cases go in is for airplanes and shit, so they don't get all scuffed up. So this is going to be the case, and I just ordered ordered it off the picture, and it's just a gray case. I don't even know what the inside of it's going to be. Here's a bag, and the kitties don't get to play with that. Cause I, I might need that. It's got a price tag on it. I feel like I feel like I got a really good deal on this. But a part of that might just be because I haven't been able to get one anywhere else. I don't know. So I keep holding it down there. So it's a, it's going to be a four by eight. I haven't opened that part up yet. It's got three pockets, and what I'm going to do here, it's got this handle at the top. I like having this handle, uh, very handy. It's got two of these backpack straps. I will never, I will never understand why cases would have two backpack straps as opposed to just one that you sling over your shoulder. And in my opinion, if you have both, you know. You have the strap over each shoulder and you're wearing it like an actual backpack then you look like a dork i could be wrong but i don't think so 
If I can figure out, figure out a way to remove one of these straps, then I will do so. But just a cursory glance, it doesn't look like that's going to be very easily possible. So I'm, I'm just taking cat toys out of the thing. Hey, there's cat toy. You missed it. You missed it. Out of these pockets. Yep, there's another one. So inside here is what is probably um, a sleeve for a jump cue shaft, maybe. Don't know what this is. Kitty, please get off the table. And then another styrofoam block. Kitty, cat toy. And in the big pocket. I don't know if I've ever had a case with three pockets like this before. I mean, my H-Sword has two, and two seems to be pretty common. It makes sense. This, this top one would be for, like, chalk and shit. You don't want to get everything else messed up. Oh, cool. So, it's got a black interior. This inside the, the main case, I can't tell if this is anything or not. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's anything. It's kind of weird. Just some kind of a separate. I thought it might be a sleeve that you could drop stuff down into. It doesn't look like that's the case. I see some some stitching problems. Uh, with that already. The other pocket is just a pocket and the little pocket is just a pocket. It's got what I'm guessing is a towel ring and again the, the backpack strap thingies. I don't know if these unsnap or not. If one of these unsnaps I know I can undo it down here because it's just got these these things, then I will remove one of these backpack straps as much as I can because, yeah, I don't want to be one of those guys. So I'm gonna, I don't know if I don't know if this is one of the there's a like a JB Ultimate Ultimate Rugged or I don't know what, what brand this is. I don't know. I thought there might actually be like a a sheet or something inside it that would tell what it is. Very odd. It's just it's just odd, okay? And I'm not I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's odd. So on this pocket there's a zipper. Right? That's for the oh that's what the inside of this crap was. Remember this? This flap? Which you can't see because it's black. This goes to the inside of that. But, so that's a zipper, and then this right here, in the main part, is exactly the same stuff, except there's no zipper. It's just, it's the same, it looks exactly like this, it just, there's no zipper. Very interesting. So let's open the main part. And, it says, JB cases and, and that Boynton, Boynton used me to say billiards is the people I bought it from. They're on Facebook. You guys can't see in there, but it is a four by eight, and it looks like everything would be pretty cramped. I actually watched a, a video that uh, John Barton put out, uh, demoing one of his cases, I don't know if it was this model or not, and everything, everything was pretty cramped in there. But it all fit, it all fit. So we're gonna find that out. First thing I want to do, though, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, the thing looks nice. The only, the only thing I don't like about the looks is that it's got two backpack straps, and and, and like, apparently a lot of people like that. Um, it is pretty heavy. It's not as heavy as my Instroke three by five, uh, and. John Barton, the guy that, that does these, wasn't used to, you know, be involved with in-stroke. Um, maybe he just likes heavy cases, or if this is a 4 by 8 and it's going to protect your cues and all that. Not complaining, just not noting things. This is the first one of these I've ever, you know, touched. So, I want to weigh it. I don't think it will exceed the 
amount that my scale can deal with here. I just got a kitchen scale. So I just want to weigh it and see what it says. This is empty. They're not putting any weight on it, they're just trying to balance it. So it's fluctuating. I'm going to call it 95 ounces. That's perfectly fine. I don't have a, anything to, to go by on. Is that a lot or is that not a lot? This is my only 4x8. Remember, my Predator is a 4x4. Four four. So this is my only 4x8. The reason I got it, yet another case, is I have a need for larger cases for like the Derby City Classic instead of fun to go buy cues. I'm still going to be carrying my S. George case around. That's gonna, that's my case that I, you know, I shoot with and all that. I don't shoot with the case, you know what I mean. But when I have, when I'm thinking I'm going to buy a cue, I'm going to carry it around, like just in my hand, and that's what this would be. If originally it was a J. Flowers, I'm giving that away. I bought another J. Flowers, giving that away. I bought the Predator, thinking, well, that can just be what I would use on that temporary basis, but I can't stand the big ass giant logo. So that's going to be included in the, in the raffle as well. Here I am. Now I have this, and this seems perfectly fine, That, and I won't need to keep buying other cases. This should last me. They have like a lifetime warranty on their stuff too. So You can't really you can't really see in here. I know that you can't, but just on the off chance that you can. So there are four large pockets kind of in the center. And then the eight shafts go around like this, around the, the outside of it. Since there aren't any instructions or anything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put these cues in so the joint protectors are facing out, which means joint up. That's what I'm going to try to do. And this first guy here is my main test gorilla. See, I can't even see in here because it's so it's so black and dark in there. There we go. That's better for me anyway. So. That went incredibly fine. And then this cube has two shafts, and I'm just gonna cram one in and cram the other one in right next to it. It might not have been a good idea for me to, well, I didn't see the inside of it before I bought it, but if I'd had any sense, maybe I would have asked, hey, what color is the inside? I guess if, if this was like my main case, I would get used to it pretty quickly. So those all fit in. Um, this is my Rundy Sean. The butt in and up. Gotta go. Trying to do joints up. I mean, they're fitting. Like with my It's George case, it, it's important how things go in. I can't, I can't do mix and match because it's very tight. But I can take the Ronnie Sean here and try to find. I'm finding that the hole is just kind of by feel. I might have missed one. One, two, three, four. So, golly, man, this is bad trying to see what the heck is going on. And my other one. Let's see if that goes. It does. It goes in. So they've all gone in on one side here. One of the one of the big selling points that that JB Cases always has, that John always has, is he talks about when they're in there, they're going to stay in. So you could do this and they're going to stay in. I'm not entirely sure who does that, but I got the impression that he must have had a cue get damaged once by, by a case where it wasn't 
as secure, or maybe he knew, just knew somebody that had a could get damaged. So with these, the, the big thing was no. They're, once they're in, they're gonna stay in. It, whether that be the case, you know, after years and years of putting the cue in it, I don't know. So this is my Southwest, and I still can't see down in there. So we'll put the joints up. This, no, this, and then this. Can't see. Pretty bad, man. I need a flashlight. And I think what I need here. Scrubs, and he's in there too. And then we'll try to find pockets for him. Jeez, man! See, this is not a very exciting video. But part of the, part of the problem is as I see it. It's got all these holes for all this equipment, right? The, the, the holes for the butts are only, I don't know, they're three or four inches below, below this. But for the shafts, the, you know, the holes, the sleeves where you put the shafts in, they're down like another two inches. So you can't freaking see the things. Or, I can't see the things. How's that? And this is not something that, something that people have to do every damn day, but it, it's something I was curious about. One, two, three, four. Southwest. Southwest. Tim Scruggs. I only got room for one more thing here. There's only one other place I can go. All right, so that last one was pretty tight going in there, but it did go in. And I can pretty much guarantee that this stuff isn't going to fall out. And it is quite heavy. But it's got four complete cues in it. It would be even worse or more heavy, heavier, where you hard, if it had all, a bunch of paraphernalia in the pockets. I'm just curious. This is not a selling point or anything. This is just. I'm just curious. Actually, I'm more curious about if my scale can handle This is OLD, which probably means that I'm old or overload, one or the other. Take your pick. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. So yeah, so this is, maybe this is why people need to two backpack straps because it, it might be too much for just one I don't think so no that's perfectly fine and I don't look like a complete dork if I had both I do think I would look like a complete dork at that point so I'm not going to do that there's a cat on the table again and I guess I'm going to stop the video like all of my unboxings I never said it was going to be exciting so nobody is allowed to be disappointed.